Okay, well, it's the day before season. Got a bull spotted, bedded down. Drop tine bull. He's not huge, but he's got a drop tine on his right hand side, so that's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, he's bedded down. Not doing anything crazy, so just gonna leave him alone and come back in the morning. See if we can run an arrow through him. He's a cool looking bull cool looking bull so I'm so stoked for tomorrow now after a rough 2018 season for my brother and I preparations were ramped up more than ever we were ready to get the monkey off our backs we went to bed that night with high hopes and anticipation of the day that we had waited all year for opening day of Washington's archery elk season. You now, bet money we see the see a bull this morning, but whether he's in a position that we can get set up and get a shot, we don't know. I don't know how hot that bull is. He seems pretty just locked. So he doesn't seem too concerned with the rut right now, but yeah. who knows? Maybe that changed. With multiple bulls in the area, a setup in this alder patch seemed like the right thing to do. Plenty of shooting lanes and a good opportunity that one of the two bulls would step out. We cow called and bugled for quite a few minutes. Not a creature was stirring, so we decided we were going to head back to the same area that we'd seen the bull the day before, see if we could turn him up.
what happened, Johnny? Well, we were getting set up to call, and then I'm working out in the clear cut, and I seen him working his way up. He was third ranged him. He was 38 yards, but didn't see any of the vitals or anything, and he was kind of feeding about a 45 away from me. And as I came out to try to get up a little further, so we intersect, uh, making them 10 steps forward. Wind changed. Felt it hit the back of my neck. Smelt me, and uh, yeah, he's out of there. <laughs> Close to no cigar. Yep. That's all right. We need to find a bigger one anyway. Right? Yeah, he was a little small. Yeah. Yeah. Leave that for one of the amateurs, you know. Let him go. Yeah, let yeah. him grow. Yeah, let him grow. It'd yeah. be good sheds to find. <laughs> there you go. We're on the location number two. Goes. Plan B. Got word from Evan. Him and Brad went out this morning and within 40 minutes shot a pretty nice uh, 5 by 5 So it was good to hear your buddies are getting success, that they're talking. Bull came in on a string, 20 yard shot. So super pumped for them. Now, it's our turn. Hopefully. After finally reaching our second hunting destination of the day, it started to pour, and pour, and pour. What do you think of this weather, Johnny? Oh, it wouldn't be too bad, except for the elk can't hear us. We can't hear them. And it makes me really, sad. Really, really wet. Oh, I'm from here, I don't care. Here not bugs though. Not ideal. No, not lightning, ideal. lightning might not be very much fun. Yeah. That thunder's a little. Eh. All right. Well, let's get out of here. I don't think we're gonna get a whole lot of elk hunting done in this. No. Not exactly the blood trailing uh, weather. Is what it is. Yep. Well, we just turned from gatherers to hunters. All right. He was, yeah, sitting on that log. Blew his head off. That'll be right here. Oh. oh, right down there. He rolled. Tumbler. All right. What we got? Double. A double. Double rough. Told you that 17 is dead on. Boom. Nailed it. Well, what are your uh, thoughts from opening day of elk season? Well, opening day, we've seen elk, so it was successful. Yep. Yeah, any day spending out here, pretty much awesome, so. Yeah. Not gonna complain one bit. Is it September yet? Jesus! Look at that. Chasing bull elk with my brother will always be some of my favorite hunts that I go on each year. And this opening day would be no exception.